the marketing agency model is dead. Anyone who runs it, who has ran in the past, knows that it's dead. You cannot be charging $1,500 a month to press a couple buttons every week on Facebook, and these businesses are catching on. They're realizing it, and they don't want to keep spending that much money. And the other side, where you have an expert SMMA, social media marketing coach, saying, but if you think that you're going to build a business to change your life with a 97 or a 197 a month plan, you have a very, very difficult road ahead. In this video, I'm gonna try to give you my unbiased opinion between the two business model and show you the pro and con of both sides of the argument. And if you stick to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the exact model that our agency used personally to help scale our agency to multiple six figures per month of recurring revenue. So you, the viewer at home, can make your own decision waiting out the pro and con. All right, let's just start off with SaaS business model, software as a service. This is where you actually charge low to medium tech cut for a monthly subscription where you have people set up and fulfill everything using go high level feature and workflow and also using app hacks to fulfill the facebook ad side and if anyone who is new here app hacks is an add-on when it comes to go high level that help you integrate facebook ad and go high level into one seamless place i make sure to leave a link to app hack in the description as well if you want to check it out so the argument to the side of this business model is that it's low to medium ticket meaning that it is easier to sell 100 to 500 dollar a month and people are most likely gonna stay with you for a longer time frame because there's just a lot less money a lot less risk and a lot less investment on their end providing that you actually give them a good genuine service because you cannot be charging 1500 dollars a month to press a couple buttons every week on facebook and these businesses are catching on so let's actually look a little closer to this side of the argument and see what we can find now if you run a marketing agency before you probably know there's a metric that you always keep an eye on which is LTV the lifetime value and the CPA the cost per acquisition so in a nutshell guys the lifetime value per customer is the total amount of dollar that a client will pay you over the course of their lifetime and the cost per acquisition is the amount of money your business has to pay to acquire one extra new client so this two metric is very correlated because that if you have a very high LTV high lifetime per value you can go out there spend more money and acquire more clients than your competitor. Dan Kennedy said it's the best. The one that can spend more to acquire clients will win. So for example, if a marketing agency A have a lifetime value of $500 per client, it cannot go out there and spend more than 500 bucks to acquire that client. On the other hand, if a marketing agency B have a lifetime value of 5K, it can go out there and pay more to acquire that client while have some extra cash to pay for the staff subscription and themselves. Because in the real world, guys, there's always new client needing your service. It's just a matter of who they go with. So if you have more to spend on marketing, they will see you first and they will go with you first. Now, just a quick tip here. If you wanna know what the lifetime value for your customer is, and if you're using Stripe, you can just go to Stripe and search up their name and their email address, and it will just show you right there. Here's an example of mine, 40K, for this customer since 2021. Now, the second reason when it comes to SaaS software as a service business model that they don't tell you is that if you have any experience speaking to local business owners directly, you know that their main concern and their main pain point is making more money for their business and getting new clients for their business. Unfortunately, it's very hard to make that happen with Go High Low feature alone. So when on a sales call, you're actually forced to sell Go High Low feature not the outcome or the promise to that prospect problem. What that means is that you only can afford to charge low ticket, again, 100 to 500 bucks a month for this service. And that would lead to our third concern here is the low cash flow problem when it comes to this business. Now, if you're just starting out using this business model, you're gonna have a hard time because the cash flow is just not there, meaning that you have to invest a lot more of your time into your business. For example, if you're selling the software at 197 a month, at a 20% closing rate. Let's just do the math there, guys. Five hour for 197, right? That is not a lot of money. Now, if you're just starting out and you wanna get experience, that might be okay or fine with you, but for a high skill entrepreneur, out there or like myself, that might not be the best use of our time. So in conclusion, as easy and as good as they make it sound for this software as a service business model, it's very hard in the beginning because you don't have a lot to reinvest into your business 
and you have to put in a lot of your time in it. Now let's look at the other side of the argument where you actually package go high level with a service and charge a premium price for it such as Google ad, Facebook ad or any kind of service and charge a premium high ticket price anywhere between 3 to 6k even at the lowest level. Can you find five? This is life changing money. So basically the argument to the side of the business model saying that you only have to get five or six clients to reach 10 to 20k a month. So that means you have to work less, you deal with less amount of people. And on top of that, each people are going to be a high quality type of client. Sounds good, right? So let's look a little closer to the side of the argument and see what they don't really tell you. All right, guys, let's just come back to the value equation that we previously just talked about in the software side of the argument. To be able to charge people at a premium high ticket price, you need to be able to promise them and give them a solution or a promised outcome to their pain point and their roadblock, aka not only selling them the feature of go high level. So I don't know about you guys, if you're just starting out and you're completely beginner, that would be very hard to do, to give a promise to something that you never have done and be confident about it on the sales call. It would be very hard to do. And sometimes that could come off as completely dishonest. And trust me guys, you don't want to have that, especially when you're just starting out. So generally this method is just very hard to pull off as a beginner or someone that's just starting out. For example, you can't really go to your local business and say, Hey Mr. X, I'm gonna promise you 10 appointments from Facebook ads when I haven't actually run Facebook ads for myself. You see what I mean here? That would lead us to the second reason of this argument is that it's generally harder to sell 5K products rather than the $500 products. And that's just speaking generally with the rule of thumb. Now, just remember guys, if you're just starting out, you have no case study, no testimonial, and this guru from SMA will teach you how to do cold email, cold call, talking completely to a cold stranger, pitching them five, six K products. Now I'm not saying that's impossible, but it would be really, really hard. Now the last reason when it comes to this business model is just the market size. There's just less people that are willing to spend five, six K compared to people that spend five, six hundred. There's just less of them in the marketplace. So therefore you have to do more outreach, more call, more appointment, and more demo call to actually make that sell. So just a quick disclaimer here, I'm gonna leave each link to both sides of the argument underneath this video so you can check it out at the end of this video. Not right now, guys, it would hurt this video algorithm. So like I said, both sides of the video have a biased opinion toward the business model that they preach. That's why in this video, I try to outline some of the factors that they haven't mentioned specifically in their video. To be honest, guys, each method actually will work if you are consistent enough and you have the openness mindset to keep learning and improving in your business. The real question here and why you click on this video is which method is going to be the most reliable, faster and proven way to get you where you're at now and where you want to go in the shortest amount of time. Let's jump back to my computer screen here and I want to show you guys the model that we use personally which is called the hybrid model where we actually use the upside from both of the business model that I mentioned and what we try to do is eliminate as many downsides as possible through a couple of methods that we use, okay? So what we do is that we're gonna actually sell our SaaS, our low ticket front end. If you completely new here to this whole SaaS business model software as a service, we made a completely free course and checklist on how to get from a beginner on high level to an expert in a matter of 30 days and land your own 10 client in the process of doing that. And this is the exact same course that we use to help hundreds and hundreds of agencies across the globe to kick off and launch their software business, some of which have scaled past six and seven figure per year. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking of taking the leap forward into starting your very own software business, make sure that you use the referral link down below to get a 30 day extended trial just because we are a partner with Go Hilo. And on top of that, you will get access to our support network such as weekly call, Facebook groups, and one-on-one -on -one support. And as a bonus, you will get a completely done for you agency template or snapshot that we use to grow and scale our agency straight to your newly made account so you can get a head start compared to the rest of the pack. Thank you so much for watching this. Let's get back to the video right using a paid ad funnel right we're gonna have a funnel that will run ad to and we get free trial 
um, to our software business and we're gonna set them up with an easy fulfillment high volume low cost type of client the fulfillment of this is very easy guy it could be a database reactivation a google review anything that only take you or your va five minutes to fulfill once you start doing this you're going to have a high amount of volume of clients signing up to your software subscription the next step is to actually sell them to a high ticket offer hto in person sales right but the best part about this is going to be a high trust transaction because this is not actually a prospect it's actually a client they already pay for your software service they're already a client so it's all about telling them your high ticket offer whatever it is and actually pitch them the six 10 and 20k products when it comes to fulfillment for this sort of service it does need an in-person fulfillment for example our fulfillment we have a media buyer and a car manager to overlook everything and to make sure that our client get the best results but the best part here guy is that you don't need a lot of client to get to 20 50k for this type of offer and again this is a high trust transaction meaning that your closing rate will be a lot higher than just cold calling somebody and pitch them this service these people will more likely to say yes to you contrast to the cold call and the cold email and the worst part is even if they say no they steal your software subscription client so this is what we call a win-win scenario and a breaking even funnel what that mean guy is that this front end offer, which is the green one, the SaaS as a service business is going to act as a lead generation for your high ticket offer, meaning that you can forever keep reinvest into marketing to acquire this kind of client for your SaaS business because your high ticket offer will always make a profit with your ad spend. Now I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I'm going to outline straight away the downside of this business model. First of all, it's very complex and it's very hard because now you have two offer and two fulfillment to do. It's very hard, especially when you're just starting out. So straight away, that's the number one downside when it comes to this business model. Now to combat that for anyone who are actually in our inner circle mastermind, we actually give them the blueprint to fulfill and we actually help them with the fulfillment process. Now the second downside is the high ticket offer. That's the same argument as the SMMA social media marketing offer. When you're just starting out, it's just very hard to sell high ticket to anyone, even though if you have a high trust situation, because you don't have case study and testimonial. Now to combat that again in our inner mastermind, we'll give people our testimonial and our case study to sell and say Biko is your business partner and actually use our testimonial to sell for their transaction. And when they come in, we use our fulfillment team to help our students fulfill. So that's how we actually handle that problem. So again, selling high ticket in a high trust environment with testimonial and case study that you can promise to fulfill. So this is it guys. This is Vico Kang, your Go High Lower Ninja. If you want to find out more about this hybrid model, I'll make sure to leave a link underneath this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe and share this video to another Go High Lower expert. I would really appreciate that. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.